What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we made our way through a lot of stuff. Got the mystery gift, got a uh, Manaphy, um, got some clothes that we have yet to wear, and now we're here in Salacion Town, and, well, we're going to be doing a little bit of a, you know, of a visit right here. As you guys can already tell, Salacion Town right here is the home to... Yes, it's the home to the daycare center right here, or the Pokemon Nursery, which will enable you to breed Pokemon and all that crud, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and grab some berries. It's never so bad to actually grab berries and whatnot. So there we go, two berries right there, two person berries. You got two Nanabs. I don't know what Nanabs do. I really don't. Nanab berries. Let's go right ahead and go with another two Nanabs right there. And let's see what else what else what else the, oh this one right here yes let's go ahead and grab two figgy berries just for the uh, just for the fun of it okay so uh let's see are there anything or is there anything of importance around here uh just maybe one or two things let's see if you talk to this guy oh welcome you saw the noise i or the you saw the notice outside about hi us hiring right is that pokedex there then you must know professor rowan you're just a uh, uh, the pokemon searching expert we've been looking for I want you to bring me a Chimchar. You must bring it today, or we're not going to be able to run the main uh, our main article. Remember, it has to be today before the date rolls over. Yeah, that kind of sucks because, uh... <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks because, uh, look at this. Uh, my Chimchar evolved into my Infernomon, so... Yeah, uh, that's not going to happen, homie. Uh, if unless I breed my Pokemon yet again, which... I'm not going to take the time to do because, yeah. Anywho, uh, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take a look at this right here. See what we got. And uh, talk to this girl. And every time, every so often, eggs will be found at the Pokemon Nursery, and they're found without anyone knowing how they got there. Is someone leaving them there? Uh, yeah, the Pokemon. They're, you know, giggity giggity, that kind of stuff. Pokemon can do that too. Anywho, uh, let's go. We're, let's go to the Lost Tower right here. Now, there is a little something that we need to grab right here. Or actually, no. Yeah, there is a little something we need to grab. We, for, we totally forgot in the last episode, but we can use Cut right here to just grab this little item. And then, plus, we, 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 we gonna, we're going to be battling, too. So, here we have the TM-47, which is Steel Wing. I don't think my Flying-type Pokemon actually can, can learn it, but it is what it is. So, here we are, guys. We are in the Lost Tower, I think that's what it is. It is a Pokemon Cemetery, just like the Pokemon uh, Tower over up in Kanto. And there will be some ghost types that you'll see. And that's probably the reason why I, I haven't, you know, put on the tower. Okay, like I said, guys, I didn't put on any repels. There will be some ghost types in here. Uh, mainly because I kind of want to capture them and all that crud. So do excuse the heavy editing if there is one. So here we go, we're going to be battling some person right here, and this kid's just scared of ghost-type Pokemon. Now, I'm going to be laughing at you if you have ghost-type Pokemon of yourselves. Let's see. Yeah, he doesn't have it, but he does have a Stunky, which could be a problem for me because, yeah, um, dark and poison-type Pokemon, that kind of crud, I do not know. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a stockpile attack right here. Make sure we, uh, you know, raise up our defenses, all that crud, because this Stunky is looking like a pretty mean one. And remember, stockpile, you can use three of these stockpiles just to get to get going. So we're going to let this guy just uh, get pumped. Let's go ahead and do again, and let's go with another stockpile right here. And as you can see, we're raising up our defenses. And, uh, and now, let's see what this... Oh, wow. Yeah, right now we're going to get a poison fart attack. Courtesy of this Pokemon right here, which, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you for farting me. Thank you for farting on me. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take care of that. Let's go ahead and use a Spit Up attack. Let's go, Spit Up, two good ones, eat it, say goodbye to Stunky. Now, it may prolong a little bit, a little, uh, well, it may prolong just a little bit, but, you know, it's actually good, and, well, let's see. What is next? Oh, yeah, we're getting poisoned still. <sighs> okay, so let's go with uh, another Pokemon right here. Let's go with Rosemon because we are going to be going up against the Shellos. And uh, there is there is quite something that's been going on right now, guys. I haven't been going into the Grand Underground just yet. Waiting to go to episode 20. That way I have enough time to actually capture some other Pokemon. There are some pretty rare Pokemon that I have yet to see. Um, 
I, I I did see a few episodes ago that why not get Kid Thunder? I have seen on the on the comment section that you can get it somewhere around here, especially if you lay out some statues in your secret base. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to take a look at that and uh, just just look at that. Oh yes, Roselia. Mm, yeah, kicking some butt right now. And uh, Cricket Tune is coming up next. So let's go with an Inferno Mon right here. Let's go ahead and start destroying things. Let's get let's get to wrecking right here. Here we go, Inferno Mon. Looking like he's ready to Muay Thai the crud out of this Pokemon right here. And why does Krikatoon look like he has a big old mustache? Pretty awesome mustache. I should probably do that. I don't know. Probably. And uh, look at this. Yes, Krikatoon, you're pretty useful. Not really. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I sneeze, but don't worry, guys. I did it under my sweater right here. Okay. Let's move on. Oh, crud. There we go. We got ourselves an oval stone. I don't think this is the stone that will actually help my Pokemon evolve. This is actually the stone that will actually get one uh, a certain Pokemon to evolve. Let's see. Actually, you know what? We were at the right spot right here. A peculiar stone that makes a certain species of Pokemon evolve. It's round like an egg. That's definitely not for Rosemon right there. So, now that we're here, let's go ahead and start giving some items to Pokemon. Let's go ahead and give the Amulet Coin to my Infernomon, since it is the Pokemon I, I like to use mostly. The Shell Bell, let's give this to a Pokemon that gets damaged a lot. Let's go ahead and give that to Pennywise. I could give it the Spooky Plate just to boost up its uh, Ghost type attack. And, uh, well, let's see, a Dread Plate. I don't have a Dark type Pokemon just yet. You know what, let's use this Calcium. Special Attacker... Uh, I think this guy. Okay, I'm just I'm just going off of something. Okay, there is one more thing that I need to do. Holy crud! Completely forgot. Uh, let's go ahead and use an antidote. And yes, Pennywise has now been healed. And uh, let us move on right here. Like I said, excuse the heavy editing. And well, let's see. I'm trying to get through this, but yeah, my stubby fingers are like. Like I said, my stubby fingers is making me do some stuff right here. And, well, we're going to be battling some more Pokemon trainers. And it looks like we're going to be facing a Roughneck. Let's go. Let's see what the Roughneck can do right here. Kirby is his name. And he's got a cool Gyarados, uh, like, in the back of his, uh, of his, of his uh, whatchamacallit, his vest, which is pretty cool. Damn. Yeah, we are, uh, oh, yeah, damn, goddamn. Okay, we are taking on a Cle uh, Clefa right here. And, well... Yeah, we're going to be stockpiling. Maybe one of these uh, stockpiles can actually work. And here comes an Encore, which... Crap! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here we go again with another stockpile. This Pokemon's going to regret it. Definitely going to regret this whole thing right here. So here we go, another one. And here comes a Sing Attack, and crap! Okay, so we kind of messed up right there. It was a huge mess up, and well, now my Pokemon is asleep. So, what's going to happen is we're going to be switching it out because, well, yeah, that's that's pretty much the whole thing. So, let's go straight to Rosemon right here and, uh, alrighty, bring it. Just bring it. Okay. You wouldn't hit a Pokemon that looked like a nice, pitily rose, right? And, well, there comes a sweet kiss. Can you get poisoned? No, that was not a physical attack. So, let's go straight for a poison sting attack right here. Come on. Good gravy! Yeah, we're not catching any slack right here. Holy crud. My god! Oh my god. Okay, so this is getting real annoying. Two Pokemon are asleep right here. Let's go right ahead and just mess this guy up. Okay, Infernomon, let's do this. Let's wreck this guy. Not only is my Pokemon confused, but it's asleep, and it's just a deadly combination for both, knowing my luck. And here comes a disarming voice. This Cleffa is really messing me up right now. I am going to have to have my way with it. Let's go with a flame wheel attack right here. There we go. Flame wheel. Destroy the Cleffa. Yeah. Didn't like that, huh? You really didn't. Okay. So that was that Roughneck. Kirby's like, oh, damn. Yeah, how are you a Roughneck if you have a Cleffa? It's not really a tough kind of Pokemon right there, you know? All right. Two Awakenings because, yeah. Let's see. Where's the other one? Huh. Well, it turns out the Rosemont woke up. Never mind. Okay, good gravy. Okay, so I caught myself a Ghastly. 
And well, since that's that, I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna use a repel because crud, man, I'm getting a little tired of the, uh, getting attacked by a Pokemon every two steps. So let's grab that. We found ourselves a revive. Always good to have a revive. And well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here now. Let's go straight for good old Ultra Cycle right here. He'll probably get us out of trouble. And what do we got here? I can't explain it. Being here compels me to battle. Maybe it's that Pikachu shirt that you have right there. I don't know. Probably. Okay, so here we go. Taking on uh, Pokefan Leonard. And he is coming out with his Pichu. Let's see what we got. Okay, Pikachu, Pichu, the whole shebang. And, well, look at that. Ultra Psycho is finally, like, you know, liking me a little bit. So let's go straight for a Confusion attack right here. And a Confusion does its trick. Say goodbye to Pichu. I am happy. Very, very happy that that happened. And, well, he's coming out with a Pikachu. Let's continue on this onslaught right here. And let's see what we can do right here. Let's go ahead and use another Confusion. Remember in Generation 1 how Pikachu or how Ultra Psycho or, you know, Alkazam was the cheat code? Nah, I remember that. And here comes another Pichu. How many Pikachus do you have? Did you, did you evolve one into a Raichu? Please tell me you did. No, he didn't. Oh, God. And there we go. Okay, alrighty. So there we go. More victories for us. Leonard has been defeated. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty, so what's next? There's more trainers along the way. Seriously? Like, wherever there's a freaking gift, there's always a a person blocking my way. Good gravy, okay. We're gonna be attacked by two Pokemon trainers right here, so let's go right ahead and do some double battles. Double battles. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Double battles, let's get it. Okay, so... Here we have Beth and Bob wanting to battle us with Ponyta and Weasel, so let's go straight for Ultra Psycho and Hydra, two of my strongest, my most rarest Pokemon right now. Well, that I've captured. Not been given, you know that? You know what I mean? Okay, alrighty, so let's see, what are we gonna do right here? It's dozing off, it must be happy, what the hell? Alright, let's go, uh, yeah, let's go with Weasel right here, and let's go with a Waterfall attack. Let's get it! And just like that, a confusion attack does its trick. Holy crud. Been defeated. There we go. There we go. And here we go with the waterfall attack. One, two. Buckle my shoes right there. Look at that. Okay. And just like that, Ultra Cycle grows another level, which is good. And. Well. Where were we? We're just, we're just kicking some butt. Taking some names. There we go. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. To the next person, I should say. She's just going to look at us. Not going to let us get that item for free and stuff. So let's go right ahead. And, uh, well, battle, uh, what was it? Pokefan, Pokefan Rebecca with an H right there. All right, let's get it. Bonsley or Bonsly. I don't remember what it is. Bonsly or Bonsly. All right, let's go. It feels like it wants to be petted. Man, what is going on right here? Seriously. Holy crud. Holy crud. And just like that, a sturdy has been a... Uh, well, it has a sturdy right there. So, yeah, thanks a lot right there. Okay. Let us not... What the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, we got confused? <laughs> just my luck. Okay, so let's go again. Another confusion. Come on. Let's go, Ultra Psycho. Yes. Ultra Psycho for the win. There we go. Get some, get some. And Electro Star grows to level 28. And yes, Rebecca has been defeated. So now we can actually grab this little item that we're at right here. All right, let's uh, let's move out of the way and grab this. And look at that, we found ourselves the TM27 low sweep. That means you're gonna be sweeping the leg. Cobra Kai never dies. That's right, Cobra Kai. Can't wait for the fourth season to come out. It's coming out on New Year's Eve. Cannot believe that. All right, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with on Infer Inferno Mon right here and uh, battle these other two couples, or this couple right here, I should say. Other two couples, I should say. <laughs> it's the same thing. I'm just kind of missing it up right there. And, well, let's go. Let's get it. 
going uh, up against a mischievous and a uh, a what you call it? A Murkrow. Alrighty, so both our Pokemon wanted to be petted and all that crud. Alright. Let's see what we got. Let's uh let's see what the Murkrow has got. Murkrow right here is at level 19. It's about to get messed up right there. And you know what? We got Crunch. Let's go straight for a mischievous right here. Let's go. Flame wheel. Finish it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. And then, uh, well, he's gonna come out with a crush attack right here. And just like that, Mer uh, Mischievous has been defeated. Now I, I was. <laughs> Look at that. I was thinking of. Oh wow, it's learning torment. Okay, let's see what we got. Torment attack right here. The user torments and enrages the target, making it incapable of using the same move twice in a row. Probably later on. Okay, there we go. And Pennywise has grown to level 26. Great. This is great. And, uh, well, we have defeated our good old buddies right here. And, uh, well, that's more money for us right here. Let's go right ahead. Okay. So here's the very end of the Lost Tower. Now, you'd think that the, these would people be people that want to battle us, but no, really, they they just want to talk to us. Let me make your journey uh, journey out of this place less frightening. Take this. We get ourselves a cleanse tag, which will actually prevent a lot of Pokemon from attacking us. And let's see. Let the first Pokemon in your team hold it. It will help keep wild Pokemon away so you can be unhindered. Alrighty, and then the Lost Tower is where spirits of the departed Pokemon are put to rest. Those that enjoyed long lives, those who uh, whose times were short, all departed Pokemon shall find solace here. It is good of you to vi to have visited. Here, take some technical machines, and here we have the TM-96s, which is also great right there, too. Okay. And we got ourselves strength. Okay, so that's awesome. But the, there, there is just one more thing right there, and that is that we don't have the badge break. To use that hit and move strength in the field, I've forgotten that you have to get it. Uh, you, have to, you must visit a Pokemon gym. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know that. Okay. Alrighty. So we we we, we got it. We we got what we, we we were coming for. It was a pretty good episode and all that crud. Okay. Alrighty. Anywho, guys. It has been a very darn good episode. As you guys probably already know, I'm currently uh, recording these episodes on Christmas Day. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the day off from work. I'm enjoying the day off from everything. Uh, you guys will probably see a few episodes here and there on, on this day. Not particularly a Pokemon a Brilliant Diamond. But, nevertheless, it's something pretty, uh, you know, you know, my Pokemon games are going to be up. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys again, you know, for being supportive and watching my channel, getting me to 10k subscribers and whatnot. Uh, and I don't know when this, this episode will be coming out, so I'm just going to say Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year, guys. Cannot wait for the start of the new year because I got some surprises for you guys right there. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be going into another cave here and there. So, see you guys.